So what happens if you overfill your transmission oil? Is it a problem? There's a lot of different types of transmission out there. So I'm going to try and just address the basics that apply to most transmission systems. So if you've got a fully automatic, a semi-automatic, or even a manual transmission, chances are there is an oil reservoir in there. And most of them will need topping up from time to time with regular service intervals. So when it comes to the fluids that go into the gearbox, of the transmission, there's lots of different names for it. There's actually lots of different products. So automatic transmissions tend to use some specific grades of automatic transmission fluids. Gearboxes often use what people refer to as gear oil and some people just refer to everything as transmission oil. So what we're going to do in this video is really refer to everything as transmission oil and we're going to try and cover all the similarities between the problems that happen when you overfill your transmission fluid in automatic and manual gearboxes and just look at the catastrophic effects that can happen when you do this. If you've got an engine with a transmission system that needs topping up, chances are it could potentially be overfilled. So what are the problems? Is it a serious issue when you've overfilled your transmission oil? Well, this video, we're just gonna look at some of the basics of it. So the transmission oil tends to sit fairly low in the transmission. There's often some kind of sump that the oil will sit in, and then it is pumped around the transmission to where it is needed. If the transmission oil is overfilled, that will often lead to cavitation, that is foam forming within the oil. So the oil is specially formulated to resist foaming, but if you have too much in there and those cogs from the transmission are constantly trawling through lots and lots of transmission oil, it will start to foam. And that's where you start getting the problem because with the foamy oil, it's not going to cover the metal components as effectively. So you're not going to get the same degree of protection. Also with the effect of the transmission splashing in that oil is going to be splashing around at high pressures within the transmission. So the are going to be seals that prevent the oil from escaping and they're set to a certain pressure but if that pressure builds up too high and the oil is hitting it with a high velocity or just the overall pressure inside the transmission is building up those seals can start to leak and seep oil and that can result in low transmission oil so actually overfilling your transmission oil can lead to a problem in the future where the transmission oil is too low and you're not getting the lubrication just because it's caused these leaks to happen within the transmission system. So another issue you get is effectively it's creating drag on the gears. So as the gears go through this excessive amount of transmission oil, it's like wading through a stream. The effect of the water on the stream on your body makes it very, very hard going. And that's gonna sap some of the power going through the transmission. So it can cause vibrations to happen, but overall you'll tend to notice a lack of power. It may also affect the smoothness of the changes that you experience. You might start to get notchy changes changes on certain gears. And if you're not careful and this problem has been allowed to develop and go on for some time, you may need to get a full overhaul done on your transmission, replacing the parts that have experienced excessive wear. And that's quite an expensive job. So it really is best to just follow your manufacturer's recommendations and make sure there is sufficient oil in your transmission at any given time and that you've not overfilled it. And there are some more exotic transmissions out there that are even more fastidious and fussy. So hopefully we've covered most of the bases in this video about overfilling transmission oil. Now, most engines have got a filling cap and a drain plug on the transmission. And in most cases, you need to release the filling cap in order for the drain plug to work. Otherwise, the oil doesn't flow as well through the transmission and come out. So I hope this video has been useful to you. We've got lots of other tips coming up just to help you get the most out of your engine to keep your running costs low and to avoid a lot of the problems that people experience. So please subscribe if you haven't done so because we would love you to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.